Well, thanks again, everyone, for coming, and I want to introduce Mario Argenti. Um, he is the CEO of Goldwell, I mean, sorry, KPSS North America. So I want to introduce him. He's in town, uh, lucky for us, with um, having meetings, so he was able to fit this into his busy schedule tonight to join us in our fundraising efforts. So, Mario? Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll speak from That's here, perfect. and then I'll yeah. come here to see you. Uh, but thank you very much for the introduction, and more importantly, also thank you for organizing this evening. I wanted to say a few words, if I could. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome some of also my colleagues. Uh, we have uh, Sandra Humphreys. Hello, Sandra. Uh, we have Fred Collins, who is in charge of sales division sales division for uh, uh, this part of the country. Uh, we also have Paige. Paige is a communication and public relations manager, so they are uh, some of our key colleagues. And of course, we have other staff members here. What's important and why is this important? Uh, first of all, I think it fits very well with the company philosophy. The company, not only do we believe in, of course, making a living out of the salon industry, but where possible, we also want to give back. And I think we do give a lot back to the industry. And for us, it's also something new to give back to the community itself from Studio 1452, because obviously this is far more directly related to the consumer as opposed to the hairdresser. Um, as well for that, a lot of people tend to think, you know, why cancer? Um, and particularly for men, we tend to think that cancer, and particularly breast cancer, only affects women. And for the minority group of men that is here, I'd like to you know, obviously want you to think about a little bit deeper than that. Because first of all, purely from the actual disease, 1% uh, of men can also suffer from breast cancer. And a lot of men don't realize that. More importantly, unfortunately, uh, the disease like cancer affects the whole family. And it's not just the women, but it's also the partners, the children, and obviously all the loved ones. The great thing about it is that I think that if caught early enough, there is a very large percentage of people that obviously survive it, and of course have a very long life. We're fortunate that amongst us tonight, we actually have several people, actually I also found out, that uh, Laurel, who is president of the uh, Chamber of Commerce, also is a survivor, not necessarily of breast cancer, but of course of the that she hopefully will be given an opportunity to say few words as well, and a special welcome to you, not only for joining us this evening, but also for the support you always have given us since we've opened up and we've moved obviously to California. Uh, secondly as well, we have a young lady who is a uh, partner of uh, Fred, Jan, and Jan is also a survivor. I'm going to ask him in a couple of minutes to say a few words to us as well. Because it is a personal disease, and more importantly, as I said, there's always advances that have been made to obviously overcome them and find a cure. And for that, as usual, fun for me. And therefore, I'm particularly pleased that Sherry and the team here have thought of the month of October, which is normally dedicated to breast cancer. There is a special focus with one we're trying to obviously raise funds. And therefore, we ask all of you, including members of the press, which of course Paige has organized, to give the focus and attention so that we can, of course, collect the umbrella of funds and we can make donations to obviously this world. So thank you this evening for joining us. 